A few days ago, Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck announced Neutron's updated design. We got to learn a bunch more details about the rocket that are all super cool. So I decided to boot up Kerbal Space Program and try to build the updated Neutron design. All right, quick recap for those who did not watch the update video. So Neutron is a medium lift launch vehicle currently being developed by Rocket Lab. It was originally unveiled in March of this year, but it has changed a lot since then. It is a seven meter wide rocket at the bottom. Uh, the fairing is five meter wide and the rocket is 40 meters tall. It has seven methane powered Archimedes engines on the bottom stage and one engine on the upper stage. It is built out of carbon fiber and can carry 15 tons of low earth orbit or eight tons if the first stage is reused. If reused, the first stage will deploy the second stage and fairing before doing a boost back burn to land back on earth um, you know honestly i want to quickly highlight a few parts of the design that i think are actually really 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 smart you'll see in the Kerbal gameplay in a minute or two here um, but there's just a lot of things about this rocket that just make a lot of sense um the first thing i want to say is is the shape the shape is is, is awesome um it, it, especially during the booster landing it is incredibly stable coming in backwards it's super super stable and it also makes doing the boost back burn a lot easier because the rocket really wants to flip backwards it makes it so much more easy so much more stable and also it has a really really big surface area um because the, the bottom is a lot fatter than the top so there's a lot of surface area hitting the atmosphere on the way down so it can actually slow down a lot uh, another one of the advantages i want to talk about is the actually the aerodynamic design um falcon 9 uses grid fins i mean don't get me wrong i'm a huge fan of falcon 9 um grid fins are great but um these actually these fins which is something similar to what new glenn uses um, they actually can provide a little bit more aerodynamic control so you can you can get a little bit more precise of targeting with them and also what you can kind of do um, which is what blue origin is talking about doing at new glenn not that that's ever gonna fly hot lol jeff who jeff who but um all right guys editing pilot here i was just thinking about jeff who again and i just it, it's too funny it's too funny of a meme so i just i had to i i, I made a shirt um yeah uh, go to pilotshop.com buy the jeff who shirt I, I literally just threw this together in like 30 seconds it's only 20 bucks i'm not i'm barely making any profit so if, if you want to it's if you want the jeff who shirt it's it's at pilotshop.com back to the video or you could buy other merch too um we have some cool stuff coming soon but back to the video and actually kind of you can tip the rocket upward and you can use those little landing legs you can use them almost like wings and you can basically angle them into the airstream and you can also kind of like generate a little bit of lift and fly the rocket horizontally so you're not just coming in straight down like a rock so yeah lots of stuff i really like about this design yeah so this is actually quite a big departure from what was originally unveiled back in march of this year um originally uh, neutron was, was supposed to look a lot like kind of like like a fat falcon 9 is sort of what it kind of resembles Assembled. Um, it looked like it was going to be made out of stainless steel, which was, you know, that's definitely not what they're going to do, especially with what Peter Peck said um, in the video. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm actually, I, I do like this design. I think it's way better than the, the one we were shown in March. Um, like in March, we didn't see anything about this like tapering, um, tapering fuselage. Uh, we didn't see any like these big static landing legs or the fins up top and this big carbon thing and really black and cool um, we didn't know anything about the engines um, so you know yeah I absolutely I'm pleasantly surprised but uh, now let, now we can actually hop over into into KSP and we can we can actually see how this thing flies see how she operates see how we can do a takeoff and a landing it'll be really cool so um, you know let's let's hop over there all right so before i show you my design in ksp this is what it is supposed to look like all right um so full disclosure i only had like a day to put this together i mean this has only like been two days since the actual announcement i had to edit this whole thing so um you know uh yeah, let's make a deal you know if if you think it's good you have to subscribe unless you're already subscribed in which case you need to Go make an alt account and subscribe again. Oh my god. Okay, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you my, my design in Kerbal. Um, this is slightly modded, um, and I'll get into a little bit more about my design in just a second. But uh, this is what it's supposed to look like, and this is what mine looks like. All right, we're going to take this thing on a test flight in just one second. But, you know, what do you what do you think? For, like, a day's work, is that is that acceptable? I mean, it's, it's way too dark. That definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, just the flag I use a little bit too dark. Um, the, 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 the top fins are not black, which is really annoying. I, I used a mod called conformal decals to help make the whole thing basically black. And you can't put the, the, the conformal decals on the fins or on the aero, on the aero surfaces, which is really annoying, but you know, oh, well, um, you know, it's, you know, 
weird noises. <laughs> all right, now, you know, let's just take it out to the pad and, and, and take it for a little, little bit of a test run here. I mean, that's why you're all here. So let's go to the pad. All right, so welcome to Z Pad. We are going to be getting ready to light up all seven of our engines and then go ahead and get this neutron into orbit. Um, so it's a pretty basic ascent all the way up to Miko. Um, we're going to be um, saving, uh, obviously, a lot of fuel for our boost back burn and landing in the first stage. Um, probably the hardest thing about building this thing was actually to get, because one of the gimmicks in Neutron is that the fairing is not detached. It basically just opens up kind of like a door and then the, the payload or the second stage flies out. It's, it's a really cool design. Um, and you can see we're going to go ahead and do that right about... There it goes! So cool! Um, so how did I do this? I used a mod. <laughs> um, so if any of you know about uh, Blue Dog Design Bureau, it's a, it's a mod that has a bunch of historical rockets in the Kerbal Space Program. I actually found this one nose cone for the, I think it's the Saturn 1B, I believe, that actually was pretty perfect, honestly. Um, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And um, it, it was a little bit small, so our second stage ended up having to be just a, a tiny bit squished. Um, but, uh, you know, oh well, what can you do? Sorry if you wanted this to be completely stock. I have absolutely no clue how to do that, that fairing completely stock. I don't know, maybe one of you people geniuses can figure it out um, beyond my skill level but uh, you know now we can actually get to the interesting bit of the launch which is actually the boost back burn and the landing so um, this 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 rocket is gonna come back looking exactly like it did going out which is actually really cool it's gonna look fully reusable but they will kind of throw away that second stage but still um, we're gonna light up all seven of our uh, engines to do our boost back burn. That's actually what they showed in the video I doubt they'll do this in real life just because of th that'd be a lot of forces on the vehicle but uh, either way um, we have now targeted the land. We're going to go ahead and flip the booster retrograde. I guess it's the whole rocket, not really just the booster. Oh, fancy they had. I I, that sounded weird. Anyway, um, what, this another thing I think would be cool is we actually uh, we rotate the uh, the fins to add just a little bit extra drag. And as you can see, we, as we get below 10 kilometers and the atmosphere starts to get really thick, that really big fat bottom of the neutron really starts to do its job and we start to slow down a lot. Like you can see our velocity is falling a lot and the Gs are really increasing as the atmosphere slows us down just a ton. Um, we actually are going to light all seven engines initially as the gimbals kind of go in a circle as SAS kind of freaks out. Then we are actually going to drop down to just one engine for the final portion of our landing burn coming in very tight on the fuel very tight a little bit fast oh boing 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 all right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Before I go, I just want to quickly let you know about an epic opportunity. So I know some people doing a little bit of a project for a fast food restaurant and they need to get some data. So I have a survey linked below and I said that I would give you guys the survey and ask you guys to fill it out. So um, there's that, there's a good reason for you guys to do it because every single one of these kind of texty, ready answer things, they're going to have to read every single one of your responses. So if we get like a bunch of you guys to type these out, it's going to take like hours and hours for them to to, to read through it and that'd be that'd be funny yeah uh you know big thanks if you actually do fill out the survey and thank you for watching to the end of the video goodbye